Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How, and in this video we are working on the D-Max and specifically the 12 volt setup in the back of it. If you've been following the channel for a little while, you would have seen the old store mod setup, stormod.com.au. You can get these guys in whatever sort of module setup you want. Head to the website for all the details. But we have had a couple of, of iterations of the 12 volt setup that lives in the back here, down the bottom here. We've gone from a 100 amp hour lithium with all sorts of goodies in the back there to the more recent video, which I'll link in the video description down below, where we used some light time batteries and we used two 200 amp hours. So there's one there, there's one there, and there's a 300 or a 300, 3000 watt inverter in the middle. Now, like we mentioned, the light time 200s have been working really well, jumped at the chance as soon as the 400 came out in the smaller compact size. It is, like we said, a bit of a girthy boy and it does weigh a fair whack, but specs one, two, and three just can't be beat. The fact that companies like Lightime are bringing out such good value units with specs like that, it's just it's just crazy. If you, if you think back, if you're into your 12 volt and you think back even just a couple of years, there is no way that you can get something like this with this sort of capacity, you know, more than 5,000 watt hours for that kind of value. So well done Lightime for continuing to push the dial there. I'm a big fan of those. And even when you think of those big battery unit, sort of self-contained units, yeah, they've got inverters and everything, in there but to get one of those even if you go back on the channel for some of the bigger units that i've reviewed like the blue eddies or the the big jackery for example that's less than half the capacity of this guy so it's pretty cool you can jam so much capacity into something of this form factor now what we might do here just for ease of comparison and show you what i'm talking about here i'm going to rip the tower of power out and do some disconnecting in there get that guy that weighs a metric ton and a half we're going to pull him back here and i think what we might do is I'll sit them both side by side. I'll pull the skin off the tower of power so you can see the difference between two 200 light times and the 400 amp hour and we'll sit them side by side. Right, so here we are. Here are the two set up side by side, both 400 amp hours, uh, right about that 5,100 watt hours of total storage capacity. With the two of them there, you can see just how much bigger and how much more space that it does take up. Bearing in mind, like you'll see from the original videos, if you go and watch the setup and the build of these guys, the Renergy 3000 watt is what's living in the middle there. Now we're gonna be keeping that. It's going to be living on the top of our big big boy 400 amp hour single unit. It's gonna be pretty much perfectly sized there. So I'm gonna be in just a second deconstructing the rest of this. We need to build a skeleton with all of our store mod type material to have a house for just the uh, just the 400 amp hour by itself. We're going to be redoing some of our front command panel of store mod here as well. We're gonna be tweaking a bunch of this. We've got different uh, water going on. That's Bluetooth that connects in here. We'll, I'll, you'll see that an upcoming sort of tour video. That's now redundant. We're gonna be rejigging this and this guy's gonna get switched around as well. There's a bit of rejig going on there, but the other cool thing is when I get to this, I'll, I'll show you through the details, but the high level is we're gonna be doing a bit of a rejig in here. I need to remove half the beach that I've brought with me here from one trip in particular. I'm not sure which one that was, but we've got a bunch of sand. We'll clean all this up, sort out a bunch of wiring in here. It's a bit of a mess since pulling it all out, but we'll have some perspex along the top. Should look pretty snappy. See if we can scooch this top section off as well. Give that a bit of a slice and dice. Get our TGM Pro compressor. Hopefully chuck it in that sort of dead space there. There's the Serbo GX that's in there at the moment, but I think I'm going to make him live down there. So anyway, you'll see that towards the end of this video when we get our new battery module installed down in here. And then I'll talk you through the sort of the wiring and where we end up going with that when we get to it. So that's my next step is to build our store mod version for the 400 amp hour unit and, uh, and, and deconstruct this. So for me, that's going to be probably a couple of hours of measuring and getting things right, measuring, hopefully only cutting once. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back and show you how we progress. So for me, a few hours, but for you guys, only a couple of seconds. We'll see you in three, two, one. And here we are, we are all done. We have our version two of our tower power, a little mini, a little, uh, it's very squat, that's for sure, but we're all in. We have recycled most of the old box, which has been excellent. And this thing is solid as a rock. You can see there's not even skin on there there. And it is one, it is one unit. We've been using the new brackets here that the same off 
the production version of the, the Storm Mod unit, so they are much, much stronger. Now we have all of our skins all cut out. They're ready to go. So that's the front section. We've got the roof underneath there, just dropping screws everywhere. That's awesome. And then we've got the back plate as well. We've got a bit of a vent that's built in as well on the, the back here. Got a uh, 3D printed cap going over the top of there just to keep any schmutz out, but that'll allow just a little bit of fresh air to get sucked through here. That's uh, that's coming up now. So what I, all I need to do now is basically attach these skins. We've got a, uh, this ready to go to get plugged in, which will route forward to our new power switches, which will go in the front now instead of the pop-up. So that's my next step is to get this thing skinned. We'll slot it into place there and get it all bolted down so it's nice and secure and then I will come back to you and show you what the plan is and what the go is once the wiring is all tidied up. And here we go, we are, we're all in. Well, we're at the point anyway for us to connect. If we have a bit of a look, see, I can show you what we've done. Obviously we have our light time in there ready to go. We have our 3000 watt inverter in the top. We'll jump in there and have a look in just a sec. We have our front plate ready to go on the front there. Got a cheeky bit of Perspex here as well to show off all the, uh, the blue stuff in there and the blinky lights and all that stuff. We'll have a look at that in a sec. This is our replacement front plate. So we've made a few updates along the way here. Obviously the Victron on screen at the front that stays the same there then we have some usbs at the top you'll see this in the in the 12 volt overview video we've got some cigarette lighter plugs the same switch panel from oxbeam we've got our power at the front here now the energy on off we've got anderson plug outlet solar in and some more usbs and our cigarette lighter along the bottom as well from the top we'll have to do a bit of mucking around here you can see we have our air compressor all installed and we're able to cheeky get it in at the end there, which is awesome. From here though, we're, we're good to go with the rest of the Victron gear. We do have this guy here, you'll see in the upcoming video about the full 12 volt setup. That's a um, LTE and GPS unit, enables you to remote into the full system from anywhere you've got a signal. And, and you guys too, by the way, because we'll make that public so you guys can get in here and have a bit of a look around in the power set, uh, setup at any time as well. Ready to go here with our big boy cables, we might, jump inside and I can show you what it looks like in there. So here we are, like we mentioned there before, there's our big inverter, our lifetime 400 amp hour unit. We have our vent on the outside, so that's gonna suck air in. And then on the inside here, we've got our big cables here. These are the 95 mil cables, so they're, they're probably a bit overkill for, for 2400 watts, but at least we've got plenty of headroom. And then up the top here, Everything else is ready to go as far as our solar charge units. We have our uh, DC DC unit. This is the XS, the 50 amp unit. Our master on off switch, our links distributor unit where everything is all routed through. And then we have our smart shunt here as well so that we're reading everything coming in from the NEG. So our next step is to get all this plugged in. So we have our master positive here that's all fused separately. That's going to the master of our lifetime 400 amp hour battery. We have this one, yeah, this is one. This is our, our master negative. That one's going to the lifetime as well. So they're, they're our big battery cables there and then this guy and uh, this guy will be our inverter cables so that's my next step is to connect all these up triple checked all of our connections so we're ready to go i will get cracking on that now and then bring you in and show you hopefully no blue smoke popping out of everywhere or uh, sparky spark hopefully we're all good and i'll bring you back and show you it all working with lights and action all right and here we go we are all in and it's actually been it's actually been a couple of days we've we've been on a bit of a trip a bit of a shakedown if you will and we've given it a red hot go and a solid workout as well over the course of the trip and i'm pleased Please report it all worked perfect so i'm very happy with the capacity that the lifetime 400 has given as you can see if we compare to the start of the video there where this guy was up to sort of here ish we've saved a whole bunch of space and then particularly on the side like we had there as well at the start of the video you saw we had sort of the growth at the top all gone so from a packing perspective it's a lot easier there where we can just fit stuff along there much much easier and a ton of room there on the space if we if we whiz on around I can kind of give you the final view there 
I've got a bit of Perspex, just a bit of, uh, you know, I'm calling it safety. Nothing to do with the uh, the looking at all the blinking lights or anything like that. I'm not obsessed by any of this stuff, not at all. But <laughs> that's pretty cool. And uh, I guess it, if there's any blue smoke starting to, to appear or sparks, I guess I'll see it. So that's a plus, right? Um, on the side, we get a bit more space here with the uh, air compressor, which means when we close the canopy lid down, we've got a little bit more wiggle room there and then at the front here of the storm mod all this works really really well very pleased i went with the all spark there on the front it makes plugging in the induction and that sort of stuff a whole lot easier but yeah so overall the the replacement light time 400 amp hour single a big tick and happy days with that one and it has made that whole setup there much much tidier and uh very pleased with the result. Now the same as all my videos, I try and make sure I get a bit of a discount together when there is a single product involved. And that is the case with Lightime there as well. They've been generous enough to put together a bit of a discount code for all of you guys. So if you are in the market for some lithium, keen to go with something similar, it doesn't have to be the big boy 400, it can be some of the smaller. I'm pretty sure it works across the board on their website. All the details I'll put in the video description down below, as well as the link and code you need to use together. Also, if you head to videoshowmehow.com yeah, go to the discounts part of the website itself and all the details are listed on there as well as other discounts for all of you guys so that about wraps it up for this one i hope you found that helpful and i hope there was some uh, some insights into the 12 volt setup there and maybe a little bit of inspo and and how you could sort of do your setup and just i guess what's possible from a sizing perspective when you when you you know whether you've got sort of a storm mod type setup or not cheeky plug stormod.com.au of course but whether you're, you're putting something like this in your setup your canopy that sort of thing 400 amp hours can fit in a surprisingly small amount of space for the for the, for the amount of energy that you're getting so pre pretty uh pretty stoked with how this one has turned out let me know what you reckon in the comments section down below look forward to seeing you on the next video so as always i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys